SDG &E is trying to make a case for raising rates. It comes at a time when many customers are already upset over how high their bills are. Today, the California Public Utilities Commission held the second of several public meetings about a proposed hike. One mother I spoke with says she's already struggling to pay and can't see any reason an increase is justified. In SDG and E bill climbing towards the $2,000 mark. It's just growing and growing and this balance is just growing and I'm just going to, I guess I'll let, just let it grow. Shauna McClure says she never dreamed she'd be paying this much for her utilities. That's like, a, that's a week of salary. That's a that's almost an entire paycheck. She tells us she's reached out to SDG and E for help, but makes too much to qualify for any aid programs. And although natural gas prices have started to trend downward after record highs earlier this year, customers like McClure say they're fed up. So when word came that SDG and E was trying to raise rates again. Boy, you've got a lot of nerve. You know, take some of those profits and help the infrastructure. Stop paying so many bonuses or, you know, the CEO cut back a little bit. Every four years, the utility is required to file an application with the California Public Utilities Commission to set annual revenues. This year, they're asking for a total of $3.6 billion in increases over the next four years. For an average customer, it would raise electric rates by more than $8 a month and gas rates by more than $9 a month. The utility says the money would go towards things like infrastructure, wildfire mitigation, and replacing aging gas pipelines. There is many concerns in the comments we've received. Wednesday's um, CPUC hearing included a long is, list of speakers, sure many of whom pointed that, um, to the utility's profits last year. In 2022, SDG&E reported profits upwards of $900 million. Its parent company, Sempra, close to $3 billion. Is there anything that anybody from SDG&E could ever say to you that would change your mind about this? About the rates? Yeah, about everything. Um, hmm, what could they say? Uh, nope, I guess there's nothing they could say. What could they say? Now the next CPUC hearings will be in person in Sherman Heights on March 23rd.